What's up guys, this is Justice Altoona with a voice of JST to talk to you about a very serious, serious problem that many people in today's society are facing. Many of you have been on YouTube for quite a while now, since its inception many years ago. And you may go on several videos and see a very serious pandemic occurring every single day. I refer to the YouTube comment disease. Now, many people suffer from the YouTube comment disease over time. Sometimes the onset can be quickly. Sometimes the onset might take a few weeks. But once it holds, it stays for a very long time and causes people to do very asinine and strange things such as going on videos that they don't care about, presumably, and making very unfortunate comments, saying the most unfortunate things. This is a very serious disease and sometimes there is no cure but if you know somebody suffering from this disease then help them out. Pl okay, cut the bullcrap. Let, let me let me just put this down. I don't know why I haven't talked about this yet. Yeah. No, real talk, this is <laughs> Voice of JSD. It's been a while. But he here's the honest and serious truth. Now, the only thing I can call it, perhaps, is a YouTube comment disease of sorts because Look, let me let me just set this straight for a second. I understand fully well that being vocal about something that bothers you maybe makes you feel better. It gives you a feeling catharsis. I mean, I'm even kind of doing a study about that. Um, I fully understand that perhaps when you want to share a negative emotion, that allows the people around you to understand that. To, you know, you get a sense of camaraderie, a sense of community in not liking something. I perfectly understand and appreciate that fact. That does not mean, that does not mean <laughs> that it is okay to purposely go out of your way onto videos on YouTube to clickety-clack your way around the internet onto these videos and spend the time and effort typing in on your little keyboard on your laptop or, you know, your, your external keyboard to say the most ridiculous things and stupid, hateful comments when shouldn't you be spending your time doing stuff you care about? Shouldn't you be spending your time like doing something nice? I'm not going to say useful or get a job or stop being a loser, get off the internet. No, no, no. Who cares? We're all in the internet doing stupid shit. What I'm talking about is why do people feel the need to purposefully go out of their way to go on YouTube comments well, see YouTube comment sections for videos that, you know, of things or videos that they don't like and messing around with it. It doesn't make any sense, because honestly, like, let me actually say to you and ask you, the viewer, does that actually make common sense to you? Like, I'm, I'm talking about a lot of things. I'm talking about religion, politics, music, video games, you know, and, and sadly, those are the things that cause the most arguments. Because the fact is, you go on the comment section for, let's say, a popular game. I'm not going to name any names. But Call of Duty, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, whatever. And you see people saying stupid stuff. I mean, Call of Duty specifically, it seems like no one has anything nice to say, right? Um, or what about music? Like, the popular people. Like, what, uh, Justin Bieber, One Direction, Beyonce. Okay, maybe not so much Beyonce. Beyonce has a very long track record, so she's ha she has about as much positive support. But, um, I don't know, Miley Cyrus, whatever. Look, the point is that I don't understand why people just need to click on the video for something that they don't like to comment and say something bad about it. Sometimes they make all of these lame excuses like freedom of expression and, you know, well, I don't like it or I'm constantly bombarded by it, so I just want to express my negative opinion. It's like, well, then it's, at the end of the day, it's not meant for you. You know, that advertisement's not meant for you. You don't like it, ignore it, you know? So what do you think you're doing? Striking back at the man by going on, you know, the YouTube comment section and commenting how much you hate Justin Bieber? At the end of the day, he's still got those video numbers and he's still got the money. What have you got? Seething hate at the fact that he's still alive. So what's that going to change? Nothing. You know, when you go on a, a religious video and start an argument, what's, what's that going to create? Will that make the religion slowly disappear and go out of your life? Not really. Like, if you don't agree with it, why are you even wasting your time? Like, that's the thing I purposefully, like, I, I personally don't understand, and I purposefully, I suppose, to a degree, because if there's something that bothers you, that, you know, something you disagree with, just, I have to just say this, get over it, because there are 7 billion people on Earth. 
and probably let's cut that down to about six billion or so that can actually hold legitimate argument and the fact is they all think different things it's six billion people that can argue with you and you think that your opinion however supported by other people will somehow cause that thing to go away now i'm not saying opinions aren't don't matter Op opinions can make the difference when backed up but that doesn't mean that hateful purposeless like you know purposeless comments just make sense you know to be done when you when you just go on a, a youtube video that honestly you shouldn't even be clicking on because you don't like saying something stupid or hateful or trolling and you think that's going to change something or make you feel better fair enough it makes you feel better but it's like all you're doing is spreading hate or disliking a video o other than bringing the video down a little bit all that, that doesn't change anything that doesn't make the video the concept or the person go away so I think just this attitude of, you know, and this strange YouTube comment disease of going on YouTube videos and commenting stuff that you shouldn't even be saying, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, Facebook arguments, Twitter arguments, and all that other kind of thing, those are completely different stories. I'm not really here to talk about that. I just don't understand, personally, what disease befalls those who suddenly think, oh, what's this? It's a video of One Direction. Now I could go about my day and probably play a video game or go to work or do something I actually care about. But no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I must click on this video. I, I, I must comment on how much I dislike One Direction because I think that's going to make a difference. And, and if I do that, then One Direction might disappear from my life and I'll be happy. Because, because that seems to be the thought process that might be going through your head at the time. Because, obviously, there are things I don't like. I mean, even though I'm known for one of those people who likes a lot of things, including stuff that people don't like. But the fact is, uh, if I dislike something so greatly, do you see me wasting my time on it? In fact, how many times, I mean, from my Facebook or Twitter, do you see me talking about stuff that I don't care about? Because I, I don't. If I don't care about it, it doesn't... It has no place in my life. You know what I'm saying? I can't pick many things I think about that I don't like that much, I guess. But let me give just a, an example. It's even hard to think about. Let's just say the band uh, Nickelback. And I know that's kind of generic. But yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of them themselves. But how many times have you heard me talking about how much I hate them? Have I made a podcast about how much I hate them and how I think they should go away? I've never, never went on a, a YouTube comment section for a Nickelback video and said anything. I, I may have watched a Nickelback video or two. But that's about it. Probably one of the two of the songs I, I might have liked. But other than that... I have never gone on a comment section to say anything bad. Why? Because I don't care. I don't like them, and I don't care. So I will never, you know, go on their thing. I'm not going to waste my breath and time talking, you know, to the YouTube comment people about how much I dislike Nickelback. Because what, what, what's that going to do me? Nothing. Look, I, I got uni to deal with. I got life to deal with. I got, you know, games to play, videos to make. Why do I need to waste my time doing that? Some people might say it's not wasting time. I'm like, wait, so you, you, you find going out of your way to go on videos to say stuff you know, bad about videos that you shouldn't like, about people you shouldn't like, that's not wasting time. You know, so so basically, they're, they're setting themselves up to be sad people who can't help but click on stuff they don't like and just say, you know, just, just crap talk, basically. And that's, that's dumb, because there's a huge difference between talking bad about something when the topic is raised or purposefully going out of your way to change a cause because you feel like that cause is bad and you think that you're sort of, sort of like, sorry, you're sort of, sort of, you're some sort of champion of justice for, you know, going out of your way to bring down the oppressive whatever it might be, the oppressive musician making a lot of YouTube hits or something. I, I don't know. What, uh, whatever reason that they might have, I still don't see a justification to go out of your way to do that. So, honestly, people who suffer from a YouTube common disease, it, it really bugs me. I mean, in my time on YouTube, I've probably disliked less than five videos and i know that's crazy i've been on for five years i've disliked less than five videos and i've probably left less than 10 bad comments and even then it uh, the bad comments were on videos i did care about and those videos said stuff that i thought was going to be all right but then it, it didn't say anything nice see this wasn't me going out of my way to go on like i don't know a musician's uh, video or um, a, a hot topic video like, you know, religion, politics, sexuality, whatever. I didn't go out of my way to go on one of those videos to talk about that. See, argue about what's important. You know, fight for your rights and express yourself in how you see fit in all of the right places where it makes sense. But don't, don't just have this strange impulsion 
to go on stuff that you shouldn't care about and say stupid things. That's that's just the bottom line. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, this is Josh Siltuna with another voice of JST. So yeah, learn some. <laughs> learn you some. See ya.